Um, I'd probably say Jade from last year. I spent a lot of time with my seniors and they made a big impact on my life right now. Getting on the hip hop team my sophomore year, it was just a really big moment for me. My favorite memory from high school is probably going to Lunch on Grilled Cheese Thursdays and hanging out with my friends. It was always really fun. My favorite memory from high school has been um, making friends last year after moving here. I think all the sporting events are my favorite memories. I think it's just really fun getting to cheer, hang out with everyone, yeah. My favorite memory is probably um, being involved with marching band and going on all the competitions and playing at all the football games. Well, my favorite memories from high school is definitely doing theater and all of the events from it and also hanging out with everybody and making the friends over the years that I've done. My favorite memory from high school was my very first ball for Bucks. Uh, it was my sophomore year. The emotions were high. It was the first normal school year that we had. My favorite memory, I'd have to say like after dances, like going to like 7-Eleven and getting a slushie at like midnight. My favorite moment from high school it's probably the dodgeball tournament we did. Um, definitely sophomore year with Ms. in Mr. Neal's class and Miss Hammer's chemistry class with my friends. What's going on, Rampart? My name is Austin Collada, and today I'm gonna be showing off my senior parking spot. I chose my senior parking spot for many reasons. I love the design. Spider-Man, day one fan. Ever since I was at the womb, we got the black, we got the red. Black represents the evil. Red represents the good. That's what high school is like. The day we got to paint our senior parking spots, it was amazing. I could talk for the seniors when I say, this is a new experience for everybody. None of us have done this before, and it was great. First off, we started by buying our own paints and preparing about a week ahead. We drew our design, it was amazing. Chalked it out, and it took the entire day to do, but in the end, it was completely worth it. And the number one rule of my parking spot is, nobody can park in it! It's mine! The song that I've been listening a lot to lately um, is Vienna by Billy Joel, and it just kind of talks um, about taking a moment kind of from the world. It's kind of like Sappy, but Where'd All the Time Go by Dr. Dog. Definitely East Side of Sorrow by Zach Bryan, just because there's always something um, on the other side that's always positive, it's not always bad. Probably uh, Senior Skip Day by Mac Miller. If I had to pick one, I'd have to say Runaway by Kanye West. Walk Around by Double A Wrong. Teenage Fever by Drake. Moment for Life by Nicki Minaj. I think The Time of Our Lives by Pitbull and Neo. Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. Whatever Comes My Way by Felly because a lot of things have happened this year, but I'm just trying to take it all in. Butterfly Effect by Travis Scott. The Life Lessons by White Forest. Probably Trophies by Drake. I kind of think Good Old Days by Michael Moore is a good song because it's just kind of like everything's coming to an end and you just kind of remember everything you went through the last four years. President has just signed a bill that will end the national emergency declared during the pandemic. Taylor Swift and Beyonce's shows are giving the U.S. economy an actual boost. Here we go. This summer could be described as the summer of strikes. It's the first official day of the SAG after strike.
and I've been playing lacrosse for I think 12 years now. Lacrosse, I've been playing it for a while and wanted to play collegiately. I committed for soccer. Um, I've been playing it since I was three. It's just always been a thing that I wanted to do. Like I mean I came to Rampart for soccer so I mean it's always been something that like I've wanted to pursue. Well I'm a left-handed pitcher and they're pretty rare for baseball and I've always grown up with my dad just throwing in the front yard. I committed to play basketball because it's, it's something I've been doing my whole life. I committed for gymnastics um, to continue being able to do the sport that I love. I'm committed for track and field and I'm a sprinter and I'm committed because I want to continue my endeavors in college. I'm going to school in Tennessee to play soccer. I committed to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio. Rockhurst University in Kansas City. I committed to CSU Pueblo. Metro State up in Denver. I committed to SUNY Brockport in upstate New York. I'm going to Mount Murray University. It's in Yankton, South Dakota. I just kind of felt like that's kind of where my life was headed, you know. I kind of wanted to escape Colorado and continue my soccer career and then also go study forensics. I got a really good vibe from the coach, really good vibe from the players. Um, it's Division One, so obviously that's highest level. Wanted to be at the highest level, so. The goal is to sign a professional contract to make money, but right now I'm on an academy one. I will definitely miss the team in general. We have a really, really good team environment. I've grown up with some of the players on Rampart since I was like 
in elementary school. I play with a lot of my best friends, love Anderson, been playing for him for four years. After our last game my sophomore year, our assistant coach bought us all ice cream after the game. It was a really fun memory. The game day environment is definitely fun. Having all the rowdies out there, all the people cheering us on is definitely fun. I'm really excited just for like the new atmosphere, like the new people, like the new like environment of where I'm living, like downtown Denver. So. I'm really excited for just like the whole like new change of life. I'm really excited to get to know all my teammates and experience that. What's up Rams? This is my spot. It's just Hello Kitty. I didn't really know what I was doing for a parking spot. I just knew it was going to be Hello Kitty. It wasn't planned like at all. She's not perfect, but she's cute. And a couple of days before we painted, I saw this picture of Hello Kitty doing a peace sign. I found, thought it was perfect. Um, and I just wrote peace out at the top. She's definitely a little dirty now since it's been a few months. I blame everyone else but me <laughs> who's rid who's driven on this don't mind the parking though if you ever see me park bad no you didn't okay start at the, you start at the top again What's good, Rampart? My name is Ronnie Corwick, and this is my parking spot. So, this parking spot was an album recreation. The album was called Cardboard Castles by George Watsky. And the reason I chose to do this for my parking spot is because it's an incredibly important album to me. And it's actually super, super cool. It took me seven and a half hours by myself, but it was all worth it because three months later, I met George Watsky and he said I had the best parking spot at Rampart High School. <laughs> this is Caroline Mildred VIII. She's my pride and joy. We call her Millie for short. Anyways, Mildred is a six cylinder car, but only four of them work, which means that when I start my car, it sounds like this. That's not normal. This right here is a Lincoln MKZ 2007, the highest quality car you can buy. If we come around the back, we got E.T. Enderman. We got an octopus. Keep Colorado Springs lame. I planned after high school are to get a degree in physics from the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. I'm going to Boston U to study acting. I plan to go to either CMU or UNC and study psychology as my major and then minor in theater. I plan on going into construction. My plans after high school is probably going back to Mexico to visit some family and probably like learn how to surf. That's been like a dream of mine to do. I, I want to get a bachelor's degree um, in like international business. I know I want to 
go down the route of medical school, whether that be uh, EMT, paramedic, or nursing. After college, I'm planning to go into human resources. I plan on either attending the University of Louisville in Kentucky or Arizona State University in Arizona um, to study forensic science with a minor in criminal justice. Well, my plans after high school is to go to uh, Pikes Peak State College and study uh, residential and commercial HVAC. Um, I'll probably go to Paris College of Art for modeling and fashion design. I want to go into um, like the beef business and own cattle and sell beef and things like that. I'm going to Colorado State University to study journalism and media communications um, and hopefully become some sort of reporter. I'm committed to go to UNC Greeley and major in elementary education to be a teacher. The advice that I would have for the class of 2024 is to not take yourself so seriously. Like, just enjoy yourself and be yourself. I would advise everybody, um, as best you can, to find your happiness. Uh, remember that you are going to be the person in charge of that happiness, so find a way to become your own best friend. No matter what happens, you are enough. You are always enough, and do not forget that. If there is something that you have interest in, something that you think you might enjoy doing or that you already know you love, follow it. Take every opportunity you get to rest and take care of yourself so that you can be the best version of you. Don't let the, the hard times get you down. Um, just remember you always have a place here and, and again, come see us because, you know, remember the little people. Revel in the moments, man, and take them all in. Don't take anything for granted. My best advice for the class of 2024 is to not think there's a deadline or a timeline for anything in life. Give it time, figure out where you wanna go. Learn to love learning and learn um, to pursue passions and your interests and don't let everything be driven by what you think you're gonna need for a job or a career. We always have things we have to do as adults. Find things that you want to do. I'd say open doors. Um, as opposed to closed doors. Don't try not to limit um, yourself in terms of, uh, you know, what, what people say um, you should do. The more weird we allow ourselves to be and the more weird we take in in our lives, um, the more fun we have and the more we see that we're all connected in some way. Find something that you're passionate about and live it every day. And most of all, watch out for the stupid people. Yeah. <laughs>